Welcome back to Redeemed by Grace Fellowship, kids. It's good to see you. It's that time. Yeah, it's that time for our next lesson. And boy, is it going to be a good one today. I'm glad you're here because I'm going to need your help a lot today. So be ready. And we'll see who is the loudest animal in the room. <laughs> yeah. But here's what we're going to be looking at today. We're going to be looking at the Good Shepherd. A little bit that we're going to be looking at it uh, from John chapter 10 verses 11 through 16. So I hope you enjoy that. But before we get started, you know what you need to do? <laughs> you remember. That's right. We got to make sure that we ask mom and dad if it's okay to subscribe to this channel, whether you're watching it on YouTube, Rumble, or Spotify. Whichever one, you want to make sure that you have indeed uh, subscribed to it so that you never miss out on any of them. But always ask mom and dad first uh, if you could do that. Because there's some dangerous stuff out on the internet and they can help you and keep you safe. So yeah, please ask mom and dad first. But then go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Hit that thumbs up too, that like button, because what that does is it tells YouTube and Rumble and Spotify to send it out to more and more people all over the world that get a chance to know that. Yes, there's even kids in Pakistan right now watching this video. Isn't that pretty cool? That is. And they get to learn a little bit about Jesus. And they get to have a little fun too. Isn't that great? Make sure you ask them on that type of thing. All right. So we're going to be again talking about how we believe in Jesus. And uh, we are going to then start with. That's right. The B-I-B-L-E, the word of God. So we're going to listen to the word of God read to us now. Um, so we could hear what it says in the Bible about the story we're going to be looking at today. After we get done with that, we got a video to watch, right? We'll watch that video too. Then we'll, I'm going to need your help. I'm going to need a lot of help uh, when we get done with that. And it should be fun. And we'll see how it goes. So here we go. Here's the word of God being read to us. I am the good shepherd. The good shepherd lays down his life for the sheep. He who is a hired hand and not a shepherd who does not own the sheep, sees the wolf coming and leaves the sheep and flees, and the wolf snatches them and scatters them. He flees because he is a hired hand and cares nothing for the sheep. I am the good shepherd. I know my own, and my own know me, just as the Father knows me and I know the Father, and I lay down my life for the sheep. And I have other sheep that are not of this fold. I must bring them also, and they will listen to my voice. So there will be one flock, one shepherd. Wow. Well, that was pretty neat. Yeah, so we're going to take a look at that and talk about it a lot today. And we'll even talk maybe a story you've heard of a few times. Yeah, and see how that just kind of meshes in what Jesus is talking about. Hmm. We'll see if it works. We'll try it out. Absolutely. Well, Let's then watch our video. Where is it? Where is it? There it is. Here we go. There, there, little lamb. I'm the good shepherd. These are my sheep. I love my sheep. I love them so much that I would die for them. I'm just a hired hand. I wish those were my sheep, but they're not. A wolf! A wolf! What am I supposed to do? I'm out of here. Not me. I'm here to protect my sheep. There, there, my sweet sheep. I love my sheep. That hired hand, he doesn't really care because he ran away at the first sign of trouble. I know my sheep. Let me introduce them. This 
is Roger. <laughs> That's Keisha. <laughs> Over there is Mariah. <laughs> and this little guy is Nate. <laughs> my sheep know my voice. Watch this. They will only come to my voice. Here, little sheep. Come here, sheep. Here, sheepy sheepy. Here, sheepy sheepy. Come to me. Yo, sheep. Get over here, will ya? Come, sheep. Come. See, I am the good shepherd. I love my sheep and they know my voice. <laughs> Well, that was pretty cool, wasn't it? Yep, that wasn't too bad, was it? <laughs> yeah, well, you'd probably think I was crazy if I asked you this question. But listen, do you know the story of the three little pigs? Raise your hand if you've heard the story of the three little pigs. Raise it up high so everybody can see. Almost all of you have heard of it. Well, that's right. And I just love that story. I really do. But I'm going to tell you it right now. But when I do, I need some help. So are you ready? Listen closely so you understand what you have to do. Every time I say the word pig, boys... Boys only. I want you to say oink oink. Can you do that? Practice it real quick. Ooh. Yeah, some of you guys should be out back slopping in the mud, right? Yeah, that's right. All right. So when I say pig, you guys say oink oink. And the girls, are you ready? Here's your assignment. When you hear me say wolf, I want you to howl. Oh, oh. Can you do that? Okay, yeah, you can. You're pretty good at it. I hear you. So that's when I say wolf, you guys howl like a wolf. All right? Now, everyone has an assignment together. When I say the word sheep, you guessed it. You're all going to go, bat. Can you do that? Bat. Yep. Yep. When I mention sheep, that's what you're to do. Well, let me hear you practice your noises. Are you ready? All right. Here we go. Well, let's see who's ready and paying attention. Pig. That was pretty good. That was pretty good. All right, girls, you ready? Wolf. Ooh, that's kind of scary. That's kind of scary. All right, everybody, here we go. Sheep. <laughs> that was pretty good. All right, here we go. So listen closely as I tell the story of the three little pigs. Not yet, not yet, boys. Not yet. Good. You were paying attention. Good job. Well, as I tell the story and I mention that word or the other word for the girls or the word for everybody, then I want you to make that animal sound as loud as you can. You ready? All right, here we go with our story. Well, the story begins when the mother pig Yeah, that was a good pig. That was a good oink. Well, she sent her three little ones out into the world to make their own fortunes. The first little pig well, he built himself a house of straw. 
straw, grass, basically, right? Okay. Well, the second little pig. <laughs> a good job. Build a house of sticks. And the third little pig. <laughs> he built a house of bricks. Which one do you think is going to stand up? Yeah, probably the strongest one, isn't it? Well, let's see what the story tells us. Let's see what's that. Well, uh, the big bad wolf. Well, he went to the first little pig's house. And he knocked on the door. Little pig. Little pig. Let me in, he said. And the little pig, he answered him and said, not by the hair of my chinny chin chin. Right? Then I'll huff. And I'll puff, and I'll blow your house in, replied the wolf. Ooh, you girls are pretty scary with that howl. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Well, the first pig's house... Again, it was a house of straw, and it wasn't very strong. And so as the wolf, wow, so as he easily, he easily blew it right down, didn't he? And the little pig, oops, I missed. Well, you make the noise. My thing got hung up. Come on, give me a pig noise. Wait, wait, that's not what we wanted. I need one of you guys to come over here and help me help me do it. There we go. Finally, we got the right one to play. <laughs> well, he ran to the safety of the second little pig's house. Ran over to his friends or his brother or whoever he was. But he went over to the second one. And you know what happened? Oh, yeah. You're right. Well, the wolf went to the second little pig's house. And he knocked on the door. Little pig. Little pig. Let me in. And the little pig said, not by the hair of my chinny chin chin. Well, I'll blow your house in, said the big bad wolf. The second little pigs. That's not a pig. You know what? We're gonna to have to turn these things off. They won't don't want to keep up with me. Well, anyway, the the, the uh, second little pig's house was made of sticks, and it wasn't very strong. So the wolf howled and blew the house in, blew it right down to the ground, 
and the second, and both the two little pigs, the first little pig and the second little pig, well, they ran over to their brother's house. Now, the wolf... Well, he went over to the third little pig's house and knocked on the door. Little pig. Little pig. Let me in. And they all said together, not by the hair of my chinny chin chin and the wolf said that wolf said well I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow, blow your house down that's what he said to him and he huffed and he puffed and he blew and he huffed and he puffed and he blew and he huffed and he puffed and he blew the house didn't fall down. The house did not fall down. No matter how hard he tried, the wolf, he couldn't blow down a brick house. He couldn't blow down the brick house. Now, the wolf had decided to go down the chimney. But the three little pigs. Boink, boink. It's not playing. Boys, I don't think the pig likes this. Because he's not doing boinking for us. You're oinking, I hear. All right. Well, let's keep going. So, uh. Uh, they, he climbed down the chimney and they had a pot of boiling water on a fire. And then we heard, oh, ouch, cried the wolf. So having outsmarted the big bad wolf. So having smarted out that big bad wolf, the three little pigs began to sing. You ready to sing? I know you know the song. All right, sing with me. Who's afraid of the big bad wolf? The big bad wolf. Oh, <laughs> the big bad wolf. Who's afraid of the big bad wolf? Try la 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 la, right? <laughs> you remember that? Yeah. Well, there have been many times, there have been many stories written about a big bad wolf wolf right and you have probably heard about well little red riding hood maybe peter and the wolf and the boy who cried wolf yeah but did you know that jesus told a story about a big bad wolf in the story that jesus told the good shepherd is him he's the good shepherd and the sheep that's everybody yep all right let me hear your sheep oh there you go pretty good well the wolf And Jesus' story is God's enemy. Where 
here's what Jesus said in the Bible. When we heard the B-I-B-L, he read to us a minute ago, but he said, I am the good shepherd. The good shepherd uh, gives his life for his sheep. That's everyone. <laughs> yeah, good job. And a hired hand, that's somebody that works for the shepherd, but it's not the shepherd. He's the he's a an employee that helps take care of them and feed them and things when the shepherd tells them to, but it's not his sheep. So but uh, uh, that hired hand, he ran away when he saw the wolf, right? <laughs> Oop, that's not the wolf. Who's, there you go. You got the right one. Well, coming because he, you know, he the, he saw that animal. I'm going to skip the word. <laughs> coming because he, because the sheep. <laughs> because, because they don't belong to him. And he really doesn't care about them at all. When they, when the hired hand runs away, guess what's going to happen? The wolf. He will, he will attack. And he will not only attack, but he will scatter the sheep. <laughs> That's right. Well, I am the good shepherd. He says, I know my sheep. There we, there we go. I know my sheep and my sheep know me. They know me just as the father knows me. And I know the father. I will lay down my life for the sheep. <laughs> well, Jesus indeed, kids, is the good shepherd. And who's the sheep? You're right. <laughs> you and I are his sheep. <laughs> you and I are. Yeah, that's right. He knows us. He lo And he loves us. And we know his voice. He will protect us when God's enemies or anyone tries to hurt us. And when we trust Jesus, we can say, who's afraid of the big bad wolf? And the real answer is, in Christ Jesus, no one. Because Jesus protects us. He's got our back. Isn't that important? Absolutely. Well, you guys did good with those animal sounds. A lot better than the clicker I have over here did. And I'm proud of you. You yeah, did well with it. So it was hard to do sometimes. It's even harder to stop in the middle of the story so you can get the sound in. But <laughs> I hope you enjoyed it. You want to make sure that you're back next week as we take a look at our next lesson. And our next lesson is going to be about the true vine. And we're going to be looking at some passages in John chapter 15 as we get into that for next week. The good, true vine. Absolutely. But before we take off and before we uh, start marching to the B-I-B-L-E song, what do we need to do? Yep. We need, we need to do that. Yep. <laughs> We're going to be like sheep and follow our shepherd. So let's pray to him right now. Let's pray to him. God, thank you for sending your son to be our good shepherd. He gave his life for us. Help us to follow him and to trust him and protect us from the evil one. 
let us hear his voice because we know him and he loves us. In Jesus' name we pray, amen and amen. That was a good one. Look forward to next week with you. Know that we love you and it's time to get up on your feet. It surely is. It's time to get ready to march out to sing to the B-I-B-L-E because that's the word for me. Here we go. Count of three. One, two, three. March. March.